the answer to why there were no spots, wrinkles, or blemishes in the glass like crystal sea, you'll find the answer in 2 Peter 2 all the way through. So read that uh, chapter, if you will, please. The answer to the question on 924, who was the woman that the devil was going to send a flood, is in this video. Verse 13. Now when the dragon saw that he had been cast to the earth, he persecuted the woman who gave birth to the male child. Well, we certainly know that Satan has persecuted uh, the people of Israel, and it was out of Israel that Jesus came. Uh, he has persecuted them more than any other race. The male child, as you remember from last session, uh, is none other than Jesus. But the woman was given two wings of a great eagle. Now, uh, John is beginning to uh, give us insight uh, uh, to actually what takes place uh, in the sixth verse of this chapter. So with verse 13, he's really picking up uh, uh, with, the, the, with verse 6 and giving us insight as to what happened uh, when the woman uh, fled into the wilderness where she has a place prepared by God that they should feed her there 1260 days. That's 42 months, three and a half years. The woman was given, how did it come about? The woman was given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness to her place where she is nourished for a time, one year, times two more making three, and half a time, three and a half years from the presence of the serpent. Now that three and a half years is the same as the 1260 days uh, that we just read about. So the serpent, now remember, we have pointed out to you uh, that Satan of himself has great difficulty uh, accomplishing anything, he must have uh, human instrumentalities through which to work. So the serpent spewed water out of his mouth like a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away by the flood. But the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon had spewed out of his mouth. And the dragon was enraged with the woman. Now this is the remnant of Israel that is hidden away in the second half of the tribulation. That's what we're, uh, 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 it, it, the identity of the woman is in this case. And uh, he says, and the dragon was enraged with the woman and he went to make war with the rest of her offspring. Now, that would be the uh, uh, children of Israel that are still on the earth who keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus. So this verse of scripture lets us know uh, that uh, the remnant of Israel that has been hidden away uh, also accepts Jesus Christ uh, as their Messiah. Now, let me uh, take you back uh, to a little something that we pointed out last night concerning the Antichrist. The Antichrist is Satan's number one agent. We learn from Daniel chapter 7 and 8 that he is a very, very powerful orator. This flood of words uh, is literally coming from Satan. Uh, it is a flood of words, actually, coming through Satan, from Satan through the Antichrist in an attempt to convince the people where the remnant of Israel are hidden to either destroy them or turn them over to him so that he can destroy them. And of course, the people do not do that. That's then uh, uh, symbolized by the earth opening up its mouth and swallowing up the blood uh, that was intended to destroy the remnant of Israel while in hiding. Let's move on to chapter 13, our next informational chapter. Answers three, the fruits of the spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Answer number four, four, nine, twenty-six are gifts of the Spirit, and there are seven of them. Wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and fear of the Lord. And answers number five for September 27th, the ministry gifts, you'll find them in Romans 12, 6 through 8, 1 Corinthians 12, 8 through 10, and 1 Peter 4 through 11. 
and I'm not going to give them to you. I would like you to list them down on a piece of paper. That is your question for the 28th. And give me everything that you read in Romans 12, 6 through 8, 1 Corinthians 12, 8 through 10, and 1 Peter 4 through 11. Write them down on a piece of paper. You don't have to comment about it because I suspect that's actually what's been going on. You have not been commenting because you didn't want to look foolish or be wrong. But go ahead and do that, and then you can say, yay, I got it. I got that right. God bless you. Let's go.